we're just starting the process so we can get the people for their vote, for their vote, up or down. Okay. Uh, as far as the commissioners, or the, the, the list, the eligible, the eligible people to be appointed to the commission, they were, I don't know of anyone that, uh, anyone up here possibly said, submit your names, but it was all on a volunteer basis. So the fact that there may not be as many Spino residents on that list speaks to the fact that a lot of these Spino residents didn't submit their names. No coercion, um, at least from my knowledge. These names were people that heard about the process and decided that they wanted to be on this panel. So um, this is all free, you know, submission, voluntary submissions. And, and I, I'll be back on that. Uh, we had for a certain time frame, and me and Councilman Martin had a conversation, and he asked if we could extend it a little bit longer, which we did, I think, an additional seven days. And the response to the only came over 22 to 20, 23 people. 22. 22 people. And, uh, I, I personally about made some calls for the deadline to see if other people would be interested. For the most part, everybody's busy really doing something else. So that 22 is what we got. Uh, and we didn't discriminate saying if you live in the or not, we, the door was open to all. So we can get some quality people in. And uh, that, that was the response. Any other clarity? I would just say that uh, you, uh, one of the citizens talked about choosing these Clevelanders. And that could be a wise thing. Uh, I I definitely feel we should have at least one of these Clevelander on here. But I also feel that we should have individuals that cross both aisles, not just Democrats, but Republicans, people who know this kind of this area because it's, it's somewhat new annexation. I can go back to 18, I was looking at some history a week ago, 1894, 1892, when they discussed it, when East Cleveland was way down on 9th Street and coming this way. 1910. Okay. But this is a new area, and we have the option, and you need to hear this, whether you like it or not, to choose East Cleveland or non-East Cleveland. We have that option. I think our major role is to make sure we get quality people who care about the citizens of East Cleveland and, and that we get the best situation for the citizens due to the fact that we're in the financial crunch. Okay? Any comments from you? I always have to comment. A brief comment. <laughs> I try to have a brief comment. <laughs> and y'all have to excuse the way I'm dressed. I just drove in from Buffalo. I mean, uh, Maryland. I think the process is a process of elimination. Out of all those names, um, you do the uh, elimination. You go through the ones that uh, are in there. And being that we need um, people that concern with East Cleveland, my first choice, if I found top-notch East Clevelanders, those would be my first choice. Um, and I think basically uh, the law director, in her infinite wisdom, I would ask that she explain the difference between merger and annexation if I could have that from the law director because I think a lot of our residents are getting uh, confused by the word merger and the word annexation. They both have definitions and they both have uh, meanings and, and have consequences. Could you do that for us if I may? Merger is when two entities come together and combine to make a totally new Entity and annexation is when one entity engulfs another, and that uh, second entity then becomes part of the uh, annexation, the annexing entity. So, in annexation, the uh, entity that's being annexed dissolves and becomes part of the annexing entity, and in the merger, both. Retain their identities, but 
they do so as a third independent entity. Uh, and also, and also, um, when you do, um, uh, when he he meaning the mayor chose to deal with the petition, he chose annexation as opposed to merger because if one fails, you can't come back uh, for a period of five years. So which one is that, Madam uh, Law Director? With uh, annexation, you can you can come back. I said between the two. One is that if you choose that and you and it fails, then you can't come back for five years. Well, there's a period of time. I just uh, I don't recall right now that's exactly what the period of time. That is merger, madam uh, director. So I'm assuming that's why the mayor chose annexation. Okay. I'm just speaking my piece, and I'm gonna cut it off right there because you told me to be free. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> ordinance number 716. The ordinance allowing the option of Okay. Ordinance number 0716 and ordinance allowing that 2017 alternative tax budget information be provided to the County Budget Commission. So that the city can be eligible for a waiver of the Ohio Revised Code 5705.28 requirement that the political subdivision adopt the tax budget and declare an emergency in order to meet the county's July 20th, 2016 deadline for information to be submitted to the county fiscal officer. Requested by Director of Finance, uh, sponsored by Council Vice President Brendan L. King. Mr. President, I'll sponsor it since Brandon King is not here. Okay, I, I move ordinance 017. I sponsor and move for adoption. Move, second. I'll second the discussion. Yeah, the, the discussion I like for uh, Jack Johnson's here. He can explain it. Uh, Director Johnson, please. Okay, Mr. Johnson. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay. This is a routine piece of legislation that's presented to City Council every year at this particular time. It's required by Ohio Revised Code 5705 that um, each city adopt a tax budget for 2017. Um, essentially, the most important part of this um, tax budget uh, is a page that shows the tax rates that the city levies. Um, there are four uh, levies generally. Uh, there's two levies, one for police pension, one for fire pension. And we have a charter a provision for a permanent improvement levy, and the balance of the total that we can levy goes into the general fund. Those have not changed in probably decades. So we, we, we adopt the same rates, same tax rates every year, but we're required to do that by uh, uh, virtue of Ohio Revised Code. Uh, it needs to be adopted by city council no later than July 15th, and I'm required to submit it to the county.